Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the country you are joining us from. I'm Maruf Olali Konraimi, and uh, yeah, we are looking at uh, the subject matter, how to post a preprint or choose a server. As we all know that uh, preprint uh, is gaining more ground, not just uh, 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 in our various countries, but globally. So we'll be diving to, to us how, as early career researchers, how we can make use of preprint server to actually uh, broadcast our research and uh, to enable it reach a larger audience. What are the various guidelines when choosing a preprint server? One, there is a, it is important that we choose the right server. It is also important that we understand the server through which uh, we intend to uh, showcase our research. Because uh, this uh, server, some of them are regional specific and some of them are also subject or discipline uh, specific. So it is important that we actually uh, get ourselves abreast with uh, the various preprint server and the one that tends to fit into uh, whatever research that uh, we want to put out there uh, for global audience and to also gather some form of criticism or, 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 or not, as the case may be. Going further, it is good that, you know, the platform tends to also help us to engage with other uh, uh, scholars, you know, particularly that are, that are even outside our field of uh, uh, discipline. So all of these actually help us to streamline where uh, the server we intend to actually future uh, our work and as the case may be. Why is it important? It is important that we choose the right server uh, to enable us future our work, uh, you know, in uh, the necessary uh, 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 preprint server that will actually gain global attention and reach a, a larger audience. One, faster dissemination. Your work is put on the preprint platform and it is out there. Of course, it will begin to gather a lot of uh, uh, both positive and, and, and negative uh, 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 comment, particularly for those uh, who your research tend to reach out to. And this will uh, uh, help in getting a lot of audiences and a lot of uh, comments, both positive, negative, and sometimes uh, neutral in between. Two, for early feedback, just as I've mentioned uh, uh, earlier, also increased visibility, which of course, uh, 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 that is also uh, very critical, particularly for uh, early career researchers to be visible, uh, particularly in the global in, in the global world, the way we find ourselves, uh, and this will help you carve a niche for uh, for yourself, so that when they, uh, in terms of your discipline or your subject area, uh, by the time they mention one, two, three, uh, you realize that you are you are not visible out there. People are cannot read your work and relate. Uh, with you. That is the platform preprint tend to bring uh, uh, on board uh, 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 for every uh, researcher out there. Of course, before be, before now, uh, uh, my colleague in terms of uh, Lamis and Johnny has actually did a deep dive about what preprint is, 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 is all about. But today, specifically, I won't bore you much with a lot of uh, 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 words or statement because we have series of literatures about preprint, what is all about, the benefit, the disadvantage, what are the various concerns, you know, about uh, about uh, preprint, which of course you can get even uh, uh, at the click uh, of, a, uh, uh, of a finger. However, uh, 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 in this presentation, we want to look at how can you actually get your work posted on a preprint depending on whatever your subject matter because uh, uh, this preprint server tends to have different 
uh, different, uh, uh, some of them are regional specific, some of them are country specific, some of them are subject specific. Uh, uh, along the line, uh, 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 you, you understood much more of what I am talking about. So enhanced collaboration is also another critical uh, aspect uh, uh, which uh, 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 the platform, the server, uh, does because once your work is featured out there, you realize that uh, a lot of persons will begin to reach out to you for more collaborative partnership, particularly in the area of uh, uh, research. Yes, these are some of the various preprint uh, 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 server that we we have. You know, I told you about some are regional uh, specific, like the uh, Africa uh, uh, chief is reg uh, uh, regional specific, and uh, uh, that much more with uh, Africa uh, as the case uh, uh, may be, and uh, all of these. Are, uh, are established in different years, depending on uh, uh, when uh, 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 the country or the 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 the, the, the discipline uh, per se decide to come. Say, okay, we can decide to have our own uh, preprint uh, platform. Of course, you will agree with me that a lot of uh, Jonah now has. Uh, 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 as a, a, a preprint server, a preprint uh, 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 platform, so that it can be easily, uh, uh, once you submit to a preprint uh, platform, you can easily also submit, you know, to whatever journal uh, 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 you intend to get your work uh, submitted, so that while the work is still undergoing series of review, is already out there, and that will be gathering a lot of uh, attention and uh, citation, uh, uh, as the case may be. We also uh, have uh, uh, China, which is you know uh, more of uh, China and uh, uh, Indonesia and the rest of them, even India, you know, and the rest and the rest of them. So these are various, uh, just some anyway of uh, the various uh, preprint. Uh, uh, a platform that uh, uh, we have like for the africa it was it was uh, established in 2018 and of, uh, if not for covid 19 that actually uh, tend to uh, uh, increase the awareness level of uh, preprint though it has been there but covid 19 the outbreak of covid 19 actually brought for brought to limelight you know uh, this uh, uh, preprint and uh, preprint uh, server as the case may be so choosing the right uh, uh, preprint in the uh, course of my discussion, I've talked about some of them are subject uh, subject specific area or discipline uh, fit, and also some that you need to also understand your uh, intended audience. You know, so some, some preprint server are specifically for maybe a uh, 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 biologist. You know, or some are specifically for psychologists. So you need to also know uh, your intended uh, audience and uh, also discipline uh, 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 fit, as the case may be. Some preprint servers specialize in specific fields of research, such as uh, the biorex, the medrex. Uh, the biorex is for biology, and the atra is for physics and so on and so and so forth. So choosing a server that aligns much with your research area we actually ensure that your work is presented in most really to the most relevant uh, uh, audience uh, uh, out out there and it will tend to gather a lot of uh, uh, a lot of attention you know in the global research uh, community of internet audience too just as i said earlier need to be put into consideration there is need for you to share your work uh, with a broad uh, scientific community or target a specific uh, niche. Some, like other metrics which I have mentioned earlier, uh, 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 cut out to a specific audience, while others, you know, uh, 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 could be in terms of regional, you know, have a broader reach. And uh, uh, it has come to our attention that. Even yeah, they're beginning to develop some that are, are more language specific, you know, uh, 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 which I have not actually done a, a deep dive 
in 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 that in that in that regard so server future to different preprint server offer various features of course uh, such as uh, commenting a uh, system uh, uh, now we have uh, uh, some uh, preprint uh, uh, Jonah are beginning to change their model now we uh, uh, we have the e life model uh, we have the uh, very X uh, model, which will also look at the, uh, the uh, step by step guide to which uh, you can get your work published in their in their in their preprint and in their journal uh, uh, per se. So choosing the right uh, uh, preprint server, things you need to put into consideration: one, well, licensing option, making choose. A server that offer Creative Common licenses. Of course, we have different types of uh, licensing uh, uh, option that you need to actually put into strict consideration uh, when submitting your work into a preprint uh, server. Submission process. We need to familiarize ourselves with the server submission guideline and format uh, requirements. Just as uh, getting your work submitted into a journal. Every journal has their own uh, specific uh, 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 format uh, and outline. Some of them, uh, their references can be uh, in Oxford uh, format. Some of them, their references can be in Vancouver format. The preprint uh, server too have their own uh, submission process, and you need to uh, actually follow that uh, submission process to enable uh, you future your work in their in their server feedback and community yes there are some uh, 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 preprint server that it is not just enough that you get your work submitted in their in their server you also try as much as possible to get feedback from uh, your work that has been posted to online those feedback are what you will harmonize together to see that you update your work based on the various comments that you have harvested, you know, to update your work before you finally sent it out uh, to to a journal. Also, we have a, a, a preprint server that are integrated into into a journal. Just as I said, uh, uh, every uh, uh, publishing uh, uh, journal now they are now having their own uh, a preprint server, so that even as you submit your work to their journal. Uh, during the process of uh, 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 submission, they will ask you if you would like to feature your work in a, in, in a preprint platform first uh, uh, while your work is still undergoing a review. That is also the part of the integration with uh, a journal, uh, 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 as the case uh, may be. So that transitioning to peer review journal and post public uh, submission process is also part and part uh, parcel of the integration uh, process. Just as like I said earlier, we have different over more than fifty uh, preprint uh, uh, server. Uh, 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 yeah, some of them, uh, though I, I couldn't exhaust all of them. But uh, yeah, uh, for my uh, for my own server. Uh, in all of these uh, preprint server, I think uh, uh, if I look at it uh, keenly, I've almost uh, uh, featured my a lot of my researches in uh, more than half of this uh, preprint server that uh, is here uh, uh, being featured on our screen. Uh, <clears throat> before now, uh, 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 I, I find it even difficult to actually believe that SSRN is actually a preprint server, if not when I had one on one engagement with uh, uh, with them before I got to know that uh, SSRN is actually uh, a, a preprint, a broader preprint uh, 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 server. So we have so many. So you you look at you look at our last set. You see we have last set journal, but yet they still have a, a preprint server that is integrated uh, into it. Medrex. Uh, Agrirex, Biorex, and uh, just as I said earlier, Biorex is for uh, biology. Chem reps is for, you know, chemistry. You know, all these chemical sciences and the rest uh, and the rest of them. Uh, advanced, you want to talk about Sage Juna, you know, and 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 all of these they have uh, uh, they come up different years, yeah, and some of them are regional specific. Uh, subject specific or discipline specific, as 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 the case. Mm -hmm. So maybe after now you can actually have uh, uh, 
uh, a look at each of these uh, preprint server and get yourself registered on their on their platform so that uh, as a preprint have been uh, published or uh, featured out you can get notified and uh, 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 little by little you can in, in, in green yourself uh, by uh, posting your work on uh, on the, on the preprint uh, uh, platform before uh, uh, you, you send it out into uh, for publication in a, in a journal uh, because this uh, will help you to fine tune your work because you now you 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 get different comment from different professionals, different researchers, scholars, uh, you know, uh, out there. All of this not uh, is in a bit, uh, not to put your work down, but to to fine tune it so that the, your work will come out uh, uh, best. Nobody is an island of knowledge. You need to address uh, all these comments, uh, you know, all these concerns, and uh, uh, use it to improve the quality uh, of work. You, have, you, you will finally submit into uh, a journal for for publication so when are preprints posted not all preprints are submitted to a journal after being posted publicly is that true yes that is true uh, let me share my own experience uh before now i have a lot of work that i have put on uh, on the print platform but along the line i intend submitting them into a uh, into a journal along the line i missed my laptop was stolen and i couldn't get access to all of those all of those uh, files uh, 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 any longer but the one i was still able to have access to was the one i posted on 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 the preprint uh, 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 platform well i'm still looking uh, some of them are, 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 are getting uh, more both positive, negative, and neutral comment, which uh, uh, in no distance time, I will start looking at them one by one to address those comments, to use it to improve the quality of uh, uh, of the paper before submitting it into, into a journal. But f by and large, it has been, helped me to fine-tune the work, uh, you know, and uh, it has also... Uh, help me to gather that recognition as the case as the case may be and you know visibility is also a key component in all of this uh, in all of this uh, process so for me preprint uh, uh, has come to stay and preprint is is one uh, that are breaking grounds particularly for predatory journals for me, preprint has come to chase out predatory journal, particularly for we uh, in the global south, uh, because and of course you, you you know the reason. One of the reason is high publication uh, publication fee. But my fear is I only hope that in no distant time they will start charging for uh, uh, for posting your work on a preprint platform. But for now, it is still free, and for we in the global south, we can. Take advantage, strong advantage of it by posting all our work on on preprint uh, 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 platform. So these are the uh, uh, process it will you go in uh, 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 posting your work on uh, a preprint platform. However, we will still do a deeper dive and uh, a live uh, posting uh, as as well. So. Before submitting your preprint, ensure it meets server guidelines. This is very, very important. Some, it is not all uh, paper submitted to a preprint that is accepted in, in mind. Uh, and one of the reasons why some of them uh, is not accepted, it is because they fail to follow the server guidelines or adhere to best practices for scholarly communication. This may include formatting, there is need for us to adhere to the server formatting guidelines, which include uh, 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 the font size, the, the 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 margin, the spacing, and so on and so forth. Abstracts. Some of these uh, uh, preprint server they want your work to be featured in uh, what I call structured abstracts. Structured abstract. Why some? 
it doesn't really yeah uh, it doesn't really matter so you need to be well guided and you need to follow uh, their, their, uh, their 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 format as, as the case may be to get your work uh, 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 featured in a prepaid platform another metadata provide accurate metadata including auto information the affiliation keywords and subject area so all of these need to be properly uh, 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 captured in, 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 in your work as the case uh, may be. Additionally, copyright and licenses, which I have also uh, talked about uh, uh, earlier on, understand the server copyright and license in policy and choose the license that allow for appropriate use and dissemination uh, of your work. Uh, this ensure proper attribution and facilitate wider access to your to your research going forward how do you actually now post your work on a preprint platform firstly you need to have an account create an account with the server like for some journals if you must uh, uh, publish your work in in some journal you need to go to that journal website register an account with them before you can now have access you know, uh, the same thing goes with uh, preprint uh, uh, server. You need to create, you know, uh, an account with from the various uh, preprint server I've displayed. You can decide to say, okay, um, uh, uh, I'm in biology or I'm in chemistry. Okay, they, let me look at the preprint server that best suits my 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 discipline or my subject then you create an account with that uh, 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 particular preprint server this will now enable you to get your work uh, 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 uploaded uh, 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 on their site you provide all necessary metadata authors information uh, tied to abstract keywords and what have you done and what have you Select a suitable copyright and licensing option. Uh, uh, review your submission and confirm all information is accurate. This is very, very important. Uh, I will share a little bit of my experience. There was a paper uh, I, I submitted in one of these preprints uh, 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 server uh, because uh, I actually did it uh, while uh, uh, I was also rushing. Along the line, I now noticed that one of the author's name was missing. And the author's name that was missing happens to be the first author. I remember I entered it, but unfortunately, I did not save it. So in the process, the, the first author's name did not feature. So even as at the time I wrote to, to the... To the uh, uh, host of the preprint uh, 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 server, they just told me, okay, uh, we have taken notice of it. Uh, well, by the time the work uh, is being published in the journal, those corrections will be effective. So take your time to actually go through the various uh, uh, the various metadata to see that all information are entered accurately. Very, very important. Submit your preprint for review by the server moderators. What does that mean is, even if your work has been finally submitted into a preprint uh, 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 server, does not automatically mean it will be published. There is what we call in-house screening, in-house moderation. Your work will go through this process. And sometimes it is done by, 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 by more than three persons and at different stages. And that is why usually they will tell you uh, if you submit your work uh, 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 into a preprint server, it takes two to three days for such uh, uh, pre uh, preprint to be out there for public uh, consumption. For very uh, uh, very X, this is uh, 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 their step by step. Uh, uh, a guide for their uh, preprint uh, submission. You submit a preprint via you know one single page uh, submission uh, system you know there's what we call pre-publication uh, uh, checks which which i call uh, uh, in-house screening or in-house moderation it is at this uh, stage uh, 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 your work will be uh, qualified uh, to be 
to be accepted, uh, to be featured out there or, 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 or not. Uh, they will look at it if it actually uh, follows the necessary uh, 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 guidelines specified by their by their uh, 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 preprint uh, server and so on uh, uh, and, and so forth. Of course, you also uh, 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 bring to attention the licensing option. Of course, every preprint server tend to have their their own licensing option. However, uh, they also give that latitude for you to to to, uh, to choose or they recommend what the field is is best so but you still have the option to either say uh, choose from uh, a list of uh, options that are being uh, provided uh, once the preprint as far as the in-house screening check a fully typeset version is published with a digital object identifier and badges to signify the check it has passed, the preprint can now be viewed and cited, and it will be indexed in Google Scholar. And not just even, uh, I think uh, some preprints are not going uh, uh, beyond Google Scholar to get it indexed in other uh, re relevant uh, uh, database. So for me, this is an opportunity for researchers in the global uh, south particularly the young uh, early career researcher to tap into because the uh, publication fee has always been an issue and it has actually positioned us uh, uh, at a disadvantage. Uh, and so now preprint uh, uh, is here. Can we make use of it? Can we catch it on, on it to future our groundbreaking research uh, 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 out there? And, you know, Open peer review and article revision is 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 is, is optional, but this is for uh, very ex uh, 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 preprint server. We also have so many uh, out there, and uh, it tends to to varies from one preprint server uh, to the other. This is for JMIR work, workflow. This is our uh, a step by step guide of uh, how you get your work uh, submitted on, in their preprint uh, server. You, uh, looking at this critically, you will realize that it's quite different from uh, uh, the, the one immediately above that uh, uh, I have shown to us. Uh, however, we will still do a deeper uh, dive regarding the JMIR. So now we want to go into a live posting of JMIR. So going further, do you need to promote your preprint, your work? The answer here. is yes. Perfect. I'm going to have to draw. You're, you're ten minutes over, and I've got another meeting I need to go to. No, no I'm already. I'm already concluding. Oh. I'm already concluding. Just in, in less than five minutes, I will be done. So you can promote your work through social media, uh, email outreach, blog, and. Uh, and uh, uh, the website, particularly uh, as a researcher, if you have a website, you can get uh, link it up. And uh, with ResearchGate, of course, once your uh, work is out there, before you know, once you put your OCID ID, it will link. It will link up to your ResearchGate and uh, Google Scholar and every other uh, site that, uh, uh, and people will be aware that you have just recently put out a new uh, publication out there. Post publication activity, respond to comment. There will be comments. You know, you need to address those comments. Uh, you, uh, you also engage in further discussion as a result of that. So, what are the benefits of this uh, uh, preprint uh, server? Global collaboration, it open more, uh, open science advocacy, uh, you know, uh, accelerated uh, 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 discovery. And before you know, uh, you begin to get uh, recognized as the case. Uh, um, Maybe so. I hope we'll also be preparing for the for the next uh, uh, webinar that will be coming up on the seventeenth uh, uh, of uh, October. That will be dealing with uh, issues unique to Africa uh, and its uh, mitigation. So thank you.